Hey guys, welcome back to another episode here at Full Throttle. Thank you very much for tuning in on today's episode. Today is going to be a nice and quick one for you guys. And today I'm going to be showing you how to remove a stubborn CV joint or inner CV joint or cup uh, as it may be referred to. Uh, this process will work on pretty well any CV cup or joint that you're trying to remove on pretty well any vehicle, whether it's a, a car, a truck, or a side-by-side, -side, ATV, etc. Uh, so basically I've been, so this is what you need to do if you have a stubborn CV cup joint that you're trying to remove, or maybe you just want to go to this route from the very beginning because it's that easy to do. Let's get the camera switched around and show you what's going on here. All right, guys. So right now I got everything set up. Basically what you're going to need is a slide hammer. Um, currently the axles, the inner CV joint sheared off. Uh, so the axle uh, shaft is removed and the, the outer CV is of course with that it's actually sitting over there against the wall as you can see there so what i've done is set up two pairs of vice grips one on each side we got a, a set of washers inside the cv cup and then the slide hammer on the back of that with a nut so everything's kind of sitting there like that as you can see now in this application and pretty well most cars you're not going to have a lot of room in there you can't get in there with anything at all um it's just a horrible spot, guys. I did pick up uh, the CV cup puller, but there's absolutely no way to get that in behind the CV cup. So this is what we're going to do. And it's this easy, guys. Put a couple pairs of vice grips on there, your washer inside with your nut and your five pound slide, and then you're gonna be able to remove this CV cup. So let's try to set this camera up, show you guys how easy this really is. Not sure how this will work as I don't actually have two hands and I forgot the tripod. But let's try to see here if this will slide out. Very corroded, rusted up. You can see the rust check I've been spraying in there, try to lubricate it, but she's finally removed guys, as easy as that. All right guys, and it's that easy to remove the inner CV joint, whether it's the one that's been giving you trouble or not, I would highly recommend using this method. Get yourself a slide hammer, some washers, and then a couple pairs of vice grips, and you'll have that thing out in no time. I've been messing around with this thing for weeks on weeks, and I had this thing removed within 10 minutes. I'm so happy to be able to share this method with you guys. So be sure to check out the product links down below for everything you've seen used in today's episode. Be sure to leave your thoughts and comments down below. If you enjoyed today's episode, be sure to smash that like button, smash that subscribe button if you aren't currently subscribing to the channel. Your love and support is greatly appreciated to me, guys. Thank you so much for your continued support. Other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. And until next time, you know what to do. Keep right full of throttle.